What's going on, everybody? So, I was rather intrigued when I first came across this airplane by random. And I've never actually seen one in person or up close. This one, unfortunately, has been sitting for quite some time in its current location, but it still had a story in itself to tell. If you're wondering what this is, it's known as a Grumman OV-1 Mohawk. And it was designed and produced by Grumman as an armed military observation and attack aircraft. It was built for battlefield surveillance to detect, locate, and identify and monitor the enemy. It was also utilized for light strike capabilities. Now this particular one is a twin turboprop aircraft and had a tandem side-by-side -side configuration. It was introduced in October of 1959 by the United States Army and it was designed to fly from short and unpaved runways. On April 14, 1959, the prototype designed as YAO-1AF performed its maiden flight. In October of that same year, the OV-1 Daylight Observation version entered production. A total of 64 OV-1As were built, and 101 OV-1Bs were built. The OV-1 Mohawk carries two crew members in a side-by-side -side seating configuration. It carried roughly 276 gallons of fuel and had a maximum payload of 1,050 kilograms. Now, the power plants were Lycoming T53 L701 engines. It's a turboprop engine with a five-stage axial and single-stage centrifugal compressor, reverse flow combustors, and a two-stage horsepower and two-stage turbine. It produced a maximum takeoff thrust of 1,400 horsepower each and it drove a three-bladed Hamilton standard constant speed propeller. Now, this aircraft is working with nearly 3,000 horsepower, and that gave it a performance category of a maximum speed of 265 knots and a cruise speed of 180 knots. It has stall speed of roughly 72 knots and a never exceed speed of nearly 390 knots. The range of this aircraft with external tanks with side airborne radar mission capabilities had, was over 820 nautical miles and it gave the aircraft an endurance of roughly 4 hours and 35 minutes. It had a service ceiling of 25,000 feet and this is where the most amazing part of this airplane that I found out about. It had a climb rate of 3,466 feet per minute. Think about that. 3,466 feet per minute on a prop driven aircraft. I mean, being paired with 3000 horsepower and the wing surface area that this aircraft is working with, that explains why that number is the number it is. The OV-1 served in the US Army Vietnam and Operation Desert Storm. Starting in 1972, the Army National Guard started using the Mohawk and continually operated it up until 1992. It was also utilized from in Korea, the Korean War, and uh, was finally retired in 1996 as it was superseded by newer systems. But in 2011, Alien Tech Systems has partnered with Broad Bay Group and the Mohawk Technologies in, of Florida have returned this airframe back to service and to utilize it as a modern day counterinsurgency aircraft. It's been configured with a Fleur Starfire turret and ventral trainable M230 chain gun. So this aircraft that was originally destined to be retired is actually being utilized once again for uh, air to ground combat for light attack systems. This interior of this aircraft was actually pretty amazing to see. It was in one of the, the best part about this aircraft was the interior was in great shape. Uh, all the turbine uh, components of the engines were still intact. I mean, heck, even the external fuel uh, pods were uh, still intact, and there was no visible leaking of the hydraulic systems. Not that I, if there was even any hydraulic fluid in it, but this aircraft seemingly, I believe, was put away airworthy, if I was to take a rough guess at it. In the condition that it was, I would say that this was parked here and flown in to here. Um, I've never seen one of these up close in person, and it sounds like being that they were armored, they uh, did their job incredibly well for reconnaissance and light air to 
to ground attacks, it's a pretty fascinating airframe. If you have more information on this aircraft, I'd love to hear about it in the uh, comments below. And well, I'm going to keep searching for more uh, beautiful aircraft such as this. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video.